with uh, Throwback Thursday, we have a box of 1994 Gangnam Series 2. Uh, 94 is really when um, inserts were, uh, there were a lot more inserts, a lot more. Um, so this is a 36 count box. Um, something I didn't notice when I got this is one five five seven Diamond King numbered card in every box. So we're going to get a, a diamond, large Diamond King out of here. Um, series 2, you can see on the side we're going to have Diamond King inserts. Diamond Kings are 1 in 9 packs. Uh, Dominators are, um, if I can find them, 1 in 12 packs. So we should be getting 4 Diamond Kings, 3 Dominators. Um, each pack has a, a special edition card, which is just like a foil card. Um, so most of the time series two doesn't have a lot of big time stars. Um, but there's definitely some inserts to hit. Um, the other insert that's a possibility to hit in this particular box are elite. Those are out of, um, one out of every 216 packs. So the odds of hitting an elite card are pretty slim. Um, but hopefully we can hit one. Uh, I believe Griffey is in the series two checklist. So that's definitely the card we want to hit. Um, Griffey also has a Dominator's card in this insert, um, in Series 2, and that's another, another one I'd like to hit. And, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let me get, hopefully, we don't have any, um, any links stuck together. We'll see. So far, so good. And, uh, so on the cover, we got Juan Gonzalez, big time star for 1994. It looks like that one time, someone had a price tag on here, $59.95. I can tell you I did not pay $59.95. So it looks like packs are starting to fall off the side there already. All right. So here's our packs. There's different players on each one. We've got Barry Bonds, Paul Molitor. These feel like they might be stuck together. Don Mattingly, Juan Gonzalez. Looks like everyone is on the front there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of nine. Here is our Jumbo Diamond King. Comes in a sleeve. Beats what they've been doing lately. Well, actually, I think the current ones are in a pack, I think. So we'll treat this like, like the old school days. Throw that in the back. Alright, so we'll save this. We'll save this till the end. Because um, at least we know it's going to be a star of some sort. So far on Throwback Thursdays, I've had trouble opening up these packs. So hopefully we'll be uh, lucky on these ones. So, uh, there's 330 cards in the base set. Um, so I can tell already, these are stuck together. I can't say... I can't say it'll be, they'll, we'll see how easy they are to break apart. So this is like worst case scenario to me. I think I have seen worse though. So I'll give them a little break here. So the first card is Bob Hamlin. Rookie of the Year. Just read an article about some of the worst Rookie of the Year careers. And he was on the list. Dale Whitmore. 
You got Billy Ashley, and then here is uh, our special edition, Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, Todd Van Poppel, Bobby Bow, Michael Jackson, we'll call him Mike, Jay Buner, Mike Moeller, Greg Harris, Javi Lopez, Gerald Williams, and Juan Guzman. So by the looks of this, this might be kind of a long video just based on um, how long it's going to take to open with them all sticking together, but just kind of seeing how they look. This particular one doesn't look like any paper loss on the front. Doesn't look too bad on the back. So I think the... Um, I think the first 50 cards of each series had um, had the special edition logo. So it's not like a gold card where every single card has a special edition uh, version of itself. I think they try to put a lot of the stars towards the beginning of the checklist. So we got Mark Clark. Mitch Webster. Kim Batiste. We have David Dean Palmer as our foil. Brett Butler. Carlos Delgado. Forgot about him. That's cool. Cool guys are rated rookies for 94. A little different than years past. Jim Abbott. Bill Wurtz. Kevin Mitchell. Matt Williams. The big hitters here. Howard Johnson. Rob Nin and Rick Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe. This is a Rob Nin uh, ready rookie also. That one there you can see a little paper loss. Um, and Rick Sutcliffe. So I kind of redid my layout here. So here soon I might switch some lights around um, to see how the lighting works in here. I haven't had too much of a chance to experiment with it. From what I'm looking at, it looks kind of dark. But I figured we'd open up a few packs, go turn the light on, and then go from there. So we have Tom Gordon for the Royals, Ron Darling, Paul Carey. Here's our special edition that looks like Matt Williams. Darren Dalton, Jeff King. We'll go ahead and flip them since uh, we be getting more of them going this direction. Trevor Wilson, Craig Shipley, Brady Anderson, Dan Peltier, Peltier, something, Rod Brewer, Scott Brocious, and Mike Gallego. So like any of these breaks, if anyone comes across anything they like, have interest in, let me know. We can work something out. Uh, anyone that already has stuff coming to them, I'm putting stuff to the side. Um, if you see anything you like, comments-wise. Uh, I don't have a lot of this stuff, so I'll probably be keeping some of it, but just depends on what it is. Jeff Husson. We have Deion Sanders, Hall of Famer for a different sport. Scott Cooper, and here is a recent Hall of Famer, Larry Walker. That's our special edition card. Now our square here. See where there's like a line through it? I don't know if that's a, a problem when it comes to grading. It could be. That was Mike Moore, Roberto Kelly, Kent Bottenfield, Bill Carter, Kevin Rogers, Ray Lankford, Shawan Dunstan, Lance Blankenship, Kevin Higgins. But so far, I mean, these cards, um, 
for 94, they really, really colorful. This this might have been like the first year where they really got some of that photography really down. All the cards are glossy, which 93 and 92 had glossy cards also. But these just seem to be a little bit more colorful. I like I like 94 Donruss. Cliff Floyd, bleh, Cliff Floyd, rated rookie. We have Rich Bachelor, Bach, Bachelor, Steve Traxel. Here is our, unfortunately, we have some paper loss on the back. Here's our special edition card, Lou Whitaker. And see, this one doesn't have that line through it, so it might be just like a printing issue. Orlando Merced. Oh, there's a card behind them. We have Jerry Jorgensen. We have Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer. And we ended up getting paper loss on the back, unfortunately. We have Pete Smith. We have Jose Canseco. Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer. Scott Ruff, Corn Rated Rookie. Kev, Kenny Rogers. Almost said Kevin and Matt Whiteside. So some of these cards are sticking together, some not so much. That is always the risk of buying these, uh, buying these cards up. I've been pretty lucky so far with a lot of the throwback Thursday. All the boxes I have, I all I bought them all from the same person. I bought just a huge lot of them. We have Pedro Castellano. Name I do not know. Rob Dibble. Mark Lewis. And this is our special edition. We have a um, duplicate here of Larry Walker. And it's stuck, but I don't think we got any paper lost there. That is cool. Steve Bruchel. I do see a Diamond King in here. One of what should be four Diamond Kings. Nigel Wilson. Felix Furman is stuck behind Nigel Wilson. Dan Peltier. Matt Turner. Is this our Diamond King? This is our Diamond King, and it is a Hall of Famer. Mike Mishina. So not a lot of high value there, but definitely a Hall of Famer, which is always a plus. There's definitely some guys in there that aren't quite there. Julio Franco. Eric Anthony with some paper loss, and Al Martin. All right, so I'm going to get up here. I'm going to try to uh, turn some more lights on. All right. All right, so more lights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up this Mike Mussina. We'll call it a hit. Hits in the 90s aren't quite the same as hits hits in uh, in, current, in the current state. So I think that lighting does help. It just makes it blurry in the back there with the cards in the back. Which we're opening cards now. So what's in the back doesn't have to front and center. So we got Dan Wilson in the back. You can probably hear that cracking. This is how I do it. I don't know if it's the correct way or not. Tyler Green. Yeah, I think this is a lot better with the color or the lighting. Dan Plezak. A lot of paper loss on him. Dante Bichette. Paper loss. Jose Canseco Special Edition. Not too bad. Buy for different recipes for how to get cards to unstick, freezer, blow dryer, um, banging them, like slamming them down on the ground while they join her for the Royals. There's a short stint here. Um, and I've never heard anyone consistently have success with any of them. Like where, you know, you get, get the perfect cards out every time. So, I know last year I opened up 
Brian Jordan, I believe 95 score, and there was a total loss. Like, everything was a total loss. Paul Wagner, Steve Finley, Dan Wilson, and maybe I should have tried one of those ways, but those are the black-bordered ones. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was bad. It was horrific. And pulled an insert out of it that was one in two boxes. I believe it was... I can't think of what the insert was called. But it was damaged, too. It was really badly damaged. So, Bill Hasselman. So, really, buying these boxes, I love buying them, but they're always a risk. Troy O'Leary. This is the worst one so far out of this batch, but this isn't super, super bad. Chuck Finley, Special Edition for the Angels. Sammy Sosa. All of a sudden, everyone cares about Sammy Sosa. Phil Plantier. He goes in my um, Hall of Fame pile because of his numbers. J.R. Phillips. Ready rookie. One of very few players named J.R. Andy Van Slyke. Eric Hillman. Sorry. Um, Scott Sanders. Jose Offerman. Jeff McNeely. Alright. Frank Thomas, guys. This was who I'm trying to get here. Clean the house on some Frank Thomas. Dion James. Mike Blowers, Blowers, MLB Network's been showing some Mariner and uh, Indian playoff games from 95. Seen his name brought up a few times, Sean Berry. Oh, here's our uh, special edition, Brian Harvey for the Marlins, Rob Butler, Luis Alisea, Leo Gomez. Greg Harris, John Flaherty, Ramon Martinez. Oh, here we go. Here's our Dominators, and unfortunately, we got a little paper loss on there. Paul Molitor. We'll sleeve him up. But he's. Dominator's cards are nice. They kind of have the dreamy feel at the bottom. Um, yeah, the lighting definitely got drastically better. So, we'll keep that light on for the foreseeable future. Those are Dominators. Do I think the Dominators definitely has the, the appear a better appearance than the Diamond Kings. I think Diamond Kings are kind of kind of rough in 94. Derek Clark, Mel Rojas. That is our um, one-fourth of the way through. So we should be getting three more Diamond Kings and two more Dominators and hopefully, hopefully, an Elite, a Griffey Elite. Hopefully. I say that with a lot of hope. Um, there are other inserts for Donruss. Uh, MVP, Spirit of the Game, Long Ball Leaders, uh, but they're all in different uh, different boxes. So this one is considered a retail box. Um, James, hey buddy. My son is uh, hitting the drums behind me here. Kenny Maldonado. We have Joe. I don't know how to say his name. Gray. David. Hella Dagger, Teligador. Here is our um, special edition, Eric Kairos. Unfortunately, we got some paper loss there. Lance Johnson, Kirk McCaskill, Lou Whitaker, Wilson Alvarez, Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Mark Holzermer, Holzermer, Nate McMinchke, Diamond uh, Ritter Rookie, Chris Gomez, and 
Armando Reynoso. Terry Leach, Walt Weiss. If anyone knows a better way to break open these cards, let me know. Rob Bob McDonald. We have a Hall of Famer, non Hall of Famer, Paper Loss, Special Edition Very Bonds. Front looks really good though. Jim Eisenreich, Fred McGriff. I think he'll get in eventually. Mark Guthrie. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. Chris Jones. John Valentin, nice action shot. Daryl Hamilton. Here's a classic uniform. Craig Lefferts. And David Vale Valet. I don't know how what how do you say his name? Alright. But yeah, if anyone has better advice on breaking these down, let me know. Because I like to open up the, the, around this year of cards, and uh, it'd be nice if I can try to get everything mint. Steve Reed, and I do want to start selling again, um, selling packs, selling breaks. Curtis Pride, I don't think 90s breaks will do very well. Bill Wigman. But anyone that's down, let me know. We can definitely make it happen. It'd be a lot cheaper than modern day breaks. Here is our Paper Lost Sammy Sosa Special Edition. Uh, Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer. Um, but yeah, I could always set up like three or four boxes for like, I don't know what the price would be, five or six dollars a spot. Pretty cheap. Matt Miski. But I, I just don't know if there's a demand for that. Alex Fernandez. Or I can just straight up sell packs for like a dollar a pack. That way you don't have to worry about getting the, the Marlins. Jeff Montgomery. The Marlins of uh, 94 Donruss. And you're not going to get any stars. Like feathers. No big time rookies. At least if you get packs, you have the odd uh, chance to get a uh, nice insert. You know, a lot of these inserts, um, the uh, Diamond Kings are numbered to 15, I believe, or 30. So you probably have one representing each team. Let me scroll up here. This will tell me. Diamond Kings 15, 15, 30. Yeah, there are six elite cards for each series. Tom Gordon. Um... Dominators, 10 cards. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of teams that aren't represented in the inserts. Paul Carey. A lot of these boxes have been just for, for my personal fun. But Don Mattingly. This one does look pretty good. Now, there is a little paper loss on the back. Seems to be getting a paper loss on the back. Chris Bossio. Jeff King. Also, anyone interested in any of these cards, let me know. Like pretty soon, um, in about a week or so, about every week or two, I sort through everything and start putting everything away. Um, Hall of Famers and stuff uh, go into a binder. Kevin Gross, um, Todd Laurel. Um, duplicates go in a sale box. I have a box of stuff for sales. So all my duplicates go in there because some of these cards I might have. Um, you know, when I when I go to put them away in the binders, I just check and see what I have and don't. I keep whatever looks looks like the best condition. And uh, then I have, like I said, a sell box divided into teams that eventually I'll be breaking breaking up and selling to anyone on YouTube and or eBay. Uh, normally base, it's only base Hall of Famers, base uh, commons and stuff. Just get put in the commons box. Um... So the stuff I do have in my sale box are typically inserts, stars, Hall of Famers. Because uh, I don't want to waste anyone's time. And I don't have the space to be compiling all my duplicates. There's Deion Sanders again. 
Scott Cooper, and it looks like we have Albert Bell. Albert Bell is definitely uh, someone to think about for the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he has the numbers. I'd have to really dig into it. I haven't really looked in a while. For a while, there, he was one of the best players. Whoops. And then, of course, there is Hall of Famer, Adrian Field, for the Twins on the top there. Roberto Kelly. Kent Bottenfield. But yeah, maybe I should do a video about Albert Bell's numbers. Joe Carter. I know Joe Carter wasn't a very popular player with the media. And uh, I don't care. All I care about is numbers. That is all I care about. We got two Joe Carters in the same pack there. Eric Davis for Detroit. Forgot about that. Lance Blankenship. And Kevin Higgins. So next Thursday, I have a box of 94 Flair, Fleer, not Flair, Fleer. And uh, if I remember right, 94 Fleer had inserts galore, insert in every pack. Reggie Jefferson, Todd Zeal. So in Hitchcock, we have something that interests me and maybe no one else, Jeff Montgomery. Special edition. Todd Van Poppel. I have a, a Royals Hall of Fame box uh, that just recently started. Kevin McReynolds. John Olerud. John Olerud was really good there for a while. And um, yeah, it's just something I just recently started. I don't want to say I go out of my way to PC it, PC them, but anything I pull, I'll put aside members of the Royals Hall of Fame or potential Royals Hall of Fame. Tommy Green, which uh, Jeff Montgomery is in the Royals Hall of Fame. Riel Cormier and Mabry Cummings are the rookie. Something just to make it a little bit more exciting for lower end cards. Like I said, I'm not going to be trying to go find Jeff Montgomery one of one cards and spend 50 bucks. That's just not something I'm into, but be a nice little side collection. A little side mission. Joey Cora. Dennis Martinez, Brad Holman, this is going to be our special edition. Yeah, we're going to get, we're getting paper loss on every special edition card on the back. Lindy Dykstra, Philadelphia Phillies, Brett Butler, Jeremy Burnett, Dave Henderson. We have a Greg. We always call him Greg Gagne. If one I know. I don't know if it's Gagne. Greg Gagne for the Royals. Domingo Martinez. Rod Brewer. Gary DeSarcina. And Jeff Nelson. This is just like the first pack we opened, Bob Hamlin. I'm also thinking about on my Royals Hall of Fame kind of side project. Maybe we can, do, I can do uh, award winners. So Bob Hamlin was Rookie of the Year. Um, maybe I can't think of anyone else. Angel Barroa was Royals Hall, uh, Rookie of the Year. Dale Whitmore, Billy Ashley. Uh, we got this one already, Brian Harvey, special edition. We didn't get paper loss on the back of that one, but it is Brian Harvey. Greg Vaughn, I think he hit 50 home runs one year. Bobby Bonilla, Mike Jackson, Jay Buhner, Mike Moeller, Chuck Finley. Ah, Sean Dunstan, Juan Guzman, and Gerald Williams. All right, this is our last pack to the halfway mark. So, still statistically. Short on some inserts here. 
Maybe that means we'll pull in the Lee Mark Clark, Mitch Webster for your special edition. Special edition, Jeff Bagwell. Doesn't look bad. And no paper loss. Well, doesn't look like any paper loss on camera. I see some white there, but what are the better looking ones? I think David Colts, Carlos Delgado, Jim Abbott. Bill Wirtz. Kevin Mitchell, Andrew Har Sedano, Pat Mears, and Rob Nin, and Rick Sutchcliffe. We got a pack. It might be in that same pack where these were in the back. All right, halfway through, two inserts. Slightly disappointing, but hopefully we're gonna make up for it in this last batch here. Joey Cora. I thought there were some Frank Thomases in these sets. I haven't seen a Frank Thomas yet. Dennis Martinez. Brad Holman. we got another Lenny Dykstra Special Edition. we got a Dave Winfield Hall of Fame. Corey Snyder. And halfway through, we're starting to hit some duplicates. Jeremy Burnett's. Dave, Win Dave Henderson, almost said Winfield, Greg Gagne, Gagne, J.R. Phillips, Gary DeSarcina, and Jeff Nelson. So out of all the inserts, none of them are numbered except for the elites. Elites are numbered out of 10,000, which... In 94, was really rare. Reggie Sanders. Paul Cottrell. Willie Blair. And we got another one. Jeff Bagwell. This one it looks really good. I don't even... Alright, this one definitely looks the best. This wasn't sticking to anything. Had the old school Astros Astros uniform. I like that one. Greg Hibbard, Benito Santiago. Oh, no. This pack in general isn't really sticking too much. Lou Frazier, Matt Williams, Todd Stottlemyer, Chris Nabholz, Luis Lopez. Oh, sorry, yeah, let me turn it on. There you go. We have Anthony Young and Tony Castillo. Yeah, this pack seems a little better too. Mark Davis, Tom Eddins, Danny Darwin, and we got Roger Clemens. We got a little paper loss on the front there. The Roger Clemens Special Edition. We got Dave Winfield Checklist. John Jaha, Mark Grace, Troy Neal. Man, this is the other side of the box. We're getting totally different cards here. Travis Fryman, Brent Maine. Mariano Duncan, Dave Gallagher, Rick Retria. Yeah, that pack almost seemed like a fresh new pack out of the box. All new cards. Definitely goes a little faster when everything's not stuck together. Pete Shurik. We have Lee Smith for the Yankees. Lee Smith with the Yankees. Can't remember if Lee Smith's in the hall or not. We have Buddy Groom. And then our special edition, Jose Rio. Terry Pendleton. Matt Noakes. T. 
Tim Salmon. That's a good card for, for 94. Angels look really good in 94. Brian Jordan, Lily Dykstra, Domingo Martinez, Randy Myers, Jaime Navarro, and Sean Green, not a bad player for the 90s. This one feels a little rough. It's like opening a bag of chips, except it's not full of air. So Andre Dawson for the Red Sox, Hall of Famer. Roger Smithberg, Dave Martinez, and our special edition is Jose Canseco, Jose Valentin, Paul Sorrento. Mark Newfield, really rookie. Eric Hillman. Pete Imiglia in Caviglia. Craig Shipley, Mike Trombley. Steve Bedrosian and Archie Cianfraco. All right. We have Billy Hatcher. And we just stuck together Jeff Branson. One thing about these Donner's cards, they're really bright. They really look Lit them up that year. They're like a, every game is a day game. Trip Cromer. That's our third one. Lenny Dykstra. Well, there's only 50 in the set here, so getting duplicates would be real easy to do. Eric Karos. I'd rather get duplicates of Hall of Famers. Andrew Scalaraga. This Pedro Martinez, not the Pedro Martinez. Kind of ripped me off one time on an eBay auction. It was an eBay auction. It was a forum. He had a 93 fine or a 94 finest. It was 93 finest refractor Pedro Martinez for like three bucks. I'm like, all right, Pedro Martinez, and I got it. And it was this guy. This is definitely not the right Pedro Martinez. Hey, this guy's a lefty. Martinez. I didn't complain. It was a Pedro Martinez. It's not the one I thought it was. Mike Stanton, Joe Carter, I think that might be the fourth Joe Carter we have so far, which he did hit that home run in the 93 World Series, so a few months later that card was produced, hit the Yato Picardo, Phil Leftwich, and Todd Froworth. So this is crazy, we're still not hitting the insert. Numbers wise, we should be hitting some inserts. Ah, Steve Hosey, Jose Bautista, not the Blue Jay, Renee Gonzalez, and then Tom Glavin, special edition. We have Zane Smith, funky, funky looking dude there. We have Chris Turner. Roger Clemens, regular regular card there. Chris Napples. Uh, Ivan Rodriguez, haven't pulled him yet. Kevin Gross. Tori Lavulo. David Segui. And Danny Schaefer.
having issues with the first card here. Tony Phillips, Darren Lewis, Bob Zubson, Subkick, and any Van Slyke, special edition. New one. Al Osuna, Doug Jones. Kurt Schilling might be in the Hall of Fame next year. Brent Main, Scott Livingstone, Dave Henderson, Melito Perez, Scott Servius. We have Scott Erickson, Rich Rowland, Doug Dravick, and here's a Joe Carter Special Edition, John Roper, Barry Bonds, Take a loss. Jim Tomei. Haven't seen Jim Tomei yet. Hall of Famer. Carl Willis. Rick Aguilaria. Oh, here we go. Bill Works and Frank Thomas. Unfortunately. There's a little paper loss on there. Back looks good. I wish it was the other way around. Jeff Gardner and Henry Mercedes. And we'll see what Mr. Frank Thomas here. That's who I've been waiting for. Didn't legitimately think I was going to get it. That's what it looks like. Paper loss is really hard to see. There's a little fra like freckles of white kind of in there. It's hard to see on. But a beautiful card nonetheless. That black and white White Sox uniform. Really, really helps with that design of that card. Or the other way around. The design really helps with that. So that was really nice. So we're three quarters of the way done. Um, we should have three more Diamond Kings coming. Is that right? One in line? Yeah, we should have three more Diamond Kings and one more Dominators card coming. Um, assuming that the uh, stats that they have online are correct. But we're, we're down to nine packs. Just to get a Diamond King, one in every nine packs. And we've only gotten the one. So that's cool. That's one of the cards I wanted to get. I don't think I have that Frank Thomas. So, uh, and if I do, this one, this one might look better. Reggie Jefferson, Todd Zeal, Sonny Hitchcock, Jeff Montgomery, uh, special edition again. Chris Basio, Kevin McReynolds, John Olerud, Kevin Gross. Brian Harvey, and there's another Diamond King. And I know I have this one. But I have to go in there and see what the condition of it is. Yay! Your mama, it's me! It's me! And we also still have our it's me. It's giant. Me. Oh, wow, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's so good! So, we'll, we'll start with the Frank Com or the Mike Piazza here. Pack Fresh Mike Piazza. That looks really good. And then right behind it, literally, like stuck to it, not stuck stuck, <laughs> Edgar Martinez, one of these dominators. <laughs> so 
So I don't know if I've ever seen T2 inserts like that. Back to back. Maybe hopefully that was a mistake. We can double up on something. Either the Dominators or the Diamond Kings. It looks like the Diamond Kings was meant to be there. I'm a, I think the other is a little questionable. All right. Now the numbers are starting to increase on our, you know, where our odds are. So dominator wise, it looks like we should be done. And then we should be getting two more diamond kings. Like I said, hopefully we, we caught a mistake there. Here is a checklist of Mark Langston, I believe. Doesn't say it on there, but that looks like a Mark Langston type. Chipper Jones, first Chipper Jones. Jack Armstrong. We have a Greg Vaughn Special Edition. We have Jamie Moyer. Really Green. John Vanderwall. John Valentin. Derek Bell. Forgot about him. He put up some big years. Chuck Finley. Ryan Klesko. Jeffrey Hammonds, Rated Rookie, and Mike Hinneman. All right. So, so far, when it comes to our inserts, all Hall of Famers. I think the odds of that, odds of that in itself are pretty good. Scott Bullitt. Don't recognize his name. Scott Bankhead, Ron Karkovic, Vice, Karkovice, big old Ron Karky, Delino De Shield, Special Edition, Mark McGuire, didn't know he was in here, first Mark McGuire we've pulled, and here with the Kirby Puckett too, haven't pulled a Kirby Puckett yet, Felix Jose, Jeff Bagwell, oh we got a Diamond King here, Shakar, uh, Cecil Fielder. So we're starting to catch up. So now statistically, I think I'm only supposed to get one more uh, Diamond King and call it a day when it comes to inserts. That is a nice looking Cecil Fielder. Not a Hall of Famer. I must have jinxed it by saying that earlier. Pat Kelly, Tim Wakefield. And Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. The pack was just full of new uh, new Hall of Famers we haven't hit yet. We have Danny Batista, Danny Tartable. We have Benito Santiago, uh, Special Edition. Darren Dalton. Here we go. Finally, Frank Thomas. Looks good. I think I have that one, but we'll have to go in there and check on the condition of it. That one might top it. Kurt Laskanik. Chuck Finley. Dave Henderson. Dave Brokale. Tom Kramer. And Jacob Brumfield. We are down to five packs. I don't know who's in the checklist. I don't know who I'm hoping for. I do know there's a Griffey Dominators card uh, in Series 2. Um, that's an option. Tony Gwynn checklist. And I see another Diamond King in this pack. Albi Lopez. Let's just turn it over. Rich Rodriguez, Greg Vaughn, Special Edition again, Mike Moore, we have John Habian, Albert Bell, uh, 
Uh, Domingo Martinez. We got Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. And there's our um, Diamond King, Ruben Sierra. So I'm out of stands. We're going to pop him right there, even though he's covering up Hall of Famers there. We'll figure it out. William Penny Feather. Dave West and Damon Buford. All right, down to four. So it looks like statistically we've hit all our inserts that we're supposed to hit. I was kind of hoping that the one pack that had two inserts in it was a, a mistake and that we'd, we'd end up with an extra. And we still could. I'm hoping. Uh, also, Elites. Um, extremely rare, but there's still a chance for an Elite. Dave Magadan, Domingo Sedino, Gene Harris, I guess we are special edition, Frank Thomas, Frank Thomas, Jim Abbott, Vinny Castilla, um, Dwight Smith, Ozzy Guillen, Andrew Har Sedeno, Dwayne Ward, Jay Buna, Ricky Jordan, and Julian Tavares, and Darren Dalton. No, Mickey Morandini. I kind of jumped the gun there. All right, down to three. Rick Wilkins, Junior Ortiz, Eric Young, and upside down Eric Young. We're going to get Andres Galarraga, Special Edition. We're going to get Don Mattingly. And Don Mattingly always goes into the Hall of Fame pile just because of his command. Craig Paquette and his numbers. Kevin Young. Jose Rijo, Rod Bolton, related to Michael Bolton, Troy Neal, Bob Block, Milt Coiler, 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 and Greg Olson. Down to two. Kent Herbeck, haven't seen him yet, Butch Husky, haven't seen him yet, Todd Zeal, and Bobby Bow for our special edition, Andy Bennis, Steve Farr, Jerry Spradlin, Jeff Montgomery, Mike Perez, Carl Willis, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, question mark. But he'll go in my Hall of Famer. Lance Painter, Ray Sanchez. And we're down to our last pack. So if we're going to get the Griffey Elite, it's going to have to be in here. And if we're going to get an extra insert, it's going to have to be in here. And if you're going to want to get a uh, Frank Thomas Special Edition, it's going to have to be in here. Randy Valverde. Valarde. I say Valverde every time. Eric. I'm going to have to look at this for me to pronounce that name. Plantenberg. That's a new name for me. Jeff McKnight. Special Edition is stuck. Special Edition, Eric Carros. Uh, Scott. Kamenicki. We have Tim Costo. Tom Condiotti. 
Mark Holzimer, Bobby Jones, rated rookie. I don't know how old he is in this picture. He looks a little old in that picture. Uh, Andrew Har Sedino is in the back there. We have Sid Fernandez. Fernando Venezuela. Still throwing and Rod Beck. So that is it in this for this box. So seven total inserts. 36 parallels, which aren't a full parallel because there's uh, uh, only 50 in the set. So it's kind of unfair to call it a parallel, but, you know, kind of kind of is fair. And a lot of Hall of Famers, which all these boxes net anyway. Um, I think the best card was the Frank Thomas. Not just because I'm biased on Frank Thomas. And um, I don't know, the Dominator cards do look really nice. I think they definitely look better than the Diamond Kings. I'm kind of just doing a quick sort here. Let's see where, where we are on all these special editions. All right. So, I'm not going to make a big deal of this, but all the Hall of Famers. No, no, no. No, no, no. Shoot through them real quick. Deion Sanders, NFL. Randy Johnson. Jeff Bagwell. Sosa. Maddox. Glavin. Lucina. Sanders again. Winfield. Winfield. Uh, Winfield checklist this time. Andre Dawson, Roger Clemens, Ivan Rodriguez, Bonds, Tomei, Jones, McGuire, Puckett, Bagwell, Murray, Frank Thomas, Tony Gwynn checklist, Larry Walker, Don Martin Lee, and Harold Baines. And actually, our uh, stack here of special edition cards was actually bigger than the Hall of Fame stack. So, Matt Williams, Larry Walker, Lou Whitaker, Larry Walker again, Jose Canseco, Chuck Finley, Brian Harvey, Eric Harris, Barry Bonds, Sosa, Mattingly, Glavin, Dean Palmer, Albert Bell, Lenny Dykstra, Jeff Bagwell, Harvey, Dykstra, Montgomery, Lemons, Bagwell again, Riho, Canseco, Dykstra again, Glavin again, Van Slyke, Joe Carter, Montgomery again, Greg Vaughn, Delino De Shields, Benito, Vaughn again, Jim Abbott, Galarraga, Bonilla, and Keros again. So, out of all those, got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 Hall of Famers. Uh, there was 3 duplicates in there, so it looks like about 6 Hall of Famers in that for me. And then, of course, the hits. Cecil Fielder. And uh, these, and get to complete this Diamond King set. That's gonna look really cool in a uh, binder together. Ruben Sierra, uh, Mike Piazza, and Mike Mussina. So definitely some nice Diamond Kings there. And Edgar Martinez, Paul Molitor, and someone, and then Frank Thomas. Someone would have had a nice pack back in 94 pulling a Diamond King and a um, and a uh, Dominator out of the same pack. Like, that, that, especially as a kid, you're thinking you hit the lottery. I just didn't know that was a thing. So we did have our <coughs> Diamond King box topper we haven't opened up yet. 
So we're going to open this puppy up. Diamond King for the Brewers. Um, Robin Yount. Greg Vaughn, maybe. That's all I'm thinking of. And it is Greg Vaughn, I believe. I'm not going to take it all the way out. Actually, this is kind of cool. I'm going to take it out. I can put it back. So, you don't have to worry about this card being stuck or anything. Um, being in some little paper sleeve and stuff. So, it's cool. Um... Definitely a lot of color. This is something that, if I can find top loaders this big, this might be something I put on my wall. My wall or something, even though he's not one of my big guys. But that's cool. I have never seen these before. And, um, that's really neat. It's way more colorful than I thought. I thought it'd be like, I, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. This isn't what I thought, though. So the red definitely has some reflective shiny uh shiny stuff for it and um it does say numbered out of ten thousand if i can get it in screen there we go and this video was an hour long i did not intend for that whatsoever so that's our final hit these are neat i might have to see if i can come across those some of these really cheap on ebay Let's see who they got i don't know if i'd want to collect the set but if they got griffey ripkin and or Frank Thomas and or George Brett or whatever Royals representative I will be interested so if anyone has any let me know man this is why I'm not putting it back in I'm gonna end up damaging it so that's it we'll plop him up there and uh, that's it thanks for watching